Welcome to Twining's Tea Tasters. I'm Alex Sandover, your resident tea geek. Today we're going to be talking about Hojan, which is a fabulous, rare and very fine yellow tea. It's from the Anhui province in eastern China. It's a beautiful area with the misty mountains and the low deltas. It's lush, it's green, it's warm, perfect for tea growing. First produced in the 17th century, this tea was a tribute tea presented in the imperial courts of the Ming and Qing dynasties. So yellow tea is another step on in the process from green tea. The main difference after the first walking of these leaves is that they're allowed to sit and yellow. The leaves are then wrapped and allowed to rest and sit over a couple of days to oxidize. These leaves are then oven dried or lightly pan fried to preserve their delicate flavors. This slower process helps to really mellow the tea. This all makes for a very interesting and different tea experience. More mellow than a green tea, more delicate than a white tea. We're gonna make ourselves a pot of tea now. Uh, what we're going to do is take uh, one spoonful, actually I'm gonna use my hands, one pinch of tea per person as this is just for myself, I am actually going to put just one in for me and one in for the pot. We have our water, which has been boiled to 80 degrees. Now what you can do at home if you have got a kettle that only boils to one temperature, which is usually 100 degrees, you can just uh, boil your kettle and then leave it, leave the boiled water for about three or four minutes so with this tea, it's got a very short steep. So what we'd look to do is perhaps steep it for one to two minutes. But me being me, I always love to just do it after the first minute. Oh, that looks wonderful. Just so that I can gauge uh, the taste and get it to exactly how I like it. Now, of course, big flaw in my plan here is that I wanted to show you a yellow tea. <laughs> but with green inside of this cup, you're not going to quite see it. But I can see that it has actually got a slight yellow tinge to it. It's rather lovely, actually. Let's take a smell. So we've got some florals in there. It's honeysuckle and a lovely orchid. But there's something smooth and sweet in there as well. Roasted nuts, sweet corn, ooh, and a zesty lime. A really, truly interesting find for the tea geek like me. So as per usual for all our club members, if you'd like to come to our website, you can receive your usual 10% discount when you shop with us online. Until next time, happy tea times.